Hi everyone, did look at my hair. It looks like a mess. Um, so, I don't know, I think I've said it thousands of times on my Instagram page. Uh, we're on a moving, we're, we're house moving, we're moving to a new place. And today, oh actually, I, I need to tell you that, it's in Sheffield. So we're going from almost somewhere near London. I think I told you it's near Windsor Castle where we're living right now. So we're moving to, <coughs> sorry. So we're going to Sheffield, we're moving to Sheffield. Today we're going to do some cleaning and um, so, yeah, I've, I've decided every time we go there, uh, we're usually going to restaurants spending quite a lot of money at the moment, budget's tight. So I've decided to cook something, I'm going to make some Persian food. Uh, in Persian we call it Gorje Polo. So the Polo actually it comes, I think it might come from Persian to Indian, which when uh, the Parsis used it. Um, so Polo as an Indian um, Hindu people call it Pilo, like Pilo rice. So we actually say Polo in Farsi. Uh, so I'm going to make gojo polo. Gojo means tomato. Uh, why? Tomato. British accent. So I'm going to make gojo polo, uh, which is a kind of pillow rice with tomatoes, but we're adding a few things in it as well. Um, stay with me in this video as I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this. It's very simple, fast, and in fact, it's going to be something that you can warm it up later and then have it like some toast because it took me a while um, I'm going to start cooking um, and we're going to show you exactly what you need so I'm going to add one potato onion and mushrooms not really necessarily in it you can add it if you want to and obviously you need tomatoes I'm going to use these chopped tomatoes because we didn't have any tomatoes it's all gone so I have to use this instead of tomatoes um, I have another uh, half onions. Uh, usually, if you add onions, it's making it taste much better. So I'm going to add this one as well, and then I'm going to show you the whole process step by step. So basically, because I'm going to film it myself, um, I don't have my tripod at the moment because I packed it for house moving. Uh, so yeah, I have to just film step by step by myself while I'm cooking and doing everything. Yeah, stay with me in this video then. I actually got these cherry tomatoes, um, is notice. I'm going to add them, just how they are in, into the rice when I'm cooking. So you're supposed to make these potatoes into a small square shape. No, they're not a square. What do you call them, Tim? Cubes. Cubes. You make, cubes. You make potato cubes. So as you can see, I've grated all the onions in here. Um, I've put those potato cubes in this. I added a little bit of lemon, like some, some lemon drizzles. Uh, now I'm going to cut these mushrooms and then I'm going to be adding them to the onions once it's going to turn the color into, when the onions going to turn into a kind of golden color, I'm going to add the mushrooms. So as you can see, I did not add any oils yet. I didn't add oil. Uh, it's just because when you're actually grating the onion, you can just simply see that it's boiling. So usually I don't add oil in until it gets completely dry and it turns color. And then I'm going to just add um, maybe olive oil or something, which is going to be natural and healthy. So once your onions are going to turn color, I mean, when you see that it's starting to um, transfer into a kind of golden color, you're going to add turmeric. All right, so as you can see, the onions almost turned color. I don't know, my camera may not show it clearly, but um, it does look slightly uh, like a honey color, creamy color, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to add uh, the mushrooms. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, put potatoes to be cooked in here. Usually you can just add it with the onion so that I actually can take the onion. But I'm trying to cook it first and so then I'm going to add it to onion and mushroom. Um, so now I've literally added my turmeric in there and I'm going to do the rest. So I added tomato paste as well. Okay, so this is going to be just mushroom, onions and uh, tomato paste 
and this is just the potatoes ready to be ready in a minute. So I moved the potatoes to uh, this uh, sauce and now the on uh, onions, mushrooms and potatoes are going to be cooked for a few minutes. Then I'm going to be making the rice and as you know in here the rice is usually different. This is the rice I give to says basmati rice. Persian rice is usually taking a long time to be cooked. It takes at least two or three hours. Uh, not two or three hours. You need to soak it two or three hours. This rice is only, you can just put it in water and then let it cook and it takes only a few minutes and it will be ready. Just going to put some water for the rice. Um, this one is still ready waiting for water and I think I am going to be adding the chopped tomatoes into the sauce now. And I'm going to add some water in it and then again add it to the sauce. So as I told you because I'm going to freeze it I'm going to use it for tomorrow uh, I made quite a lot because we're going to have some tonight as well and right now as lunch thing it's five past two so I am going to be making this as lunch for today and tonight for dinner so here is I added um, butter and the rice and I'm going to be adding water in a minute okay so Tim really wanted to add some cherry tomatoes in it, I literally forgot. Rice is being ready and the sauce is ready as well. Then I am going to mix the sauce with the rice. So now I'm going to mix them all together in the, in a bigger pot. All right, so as you can see, I have been putting one layer of rice and one layer of the sauce. Last year layer, I'm going to add the rice and, and let it cook for a few minutes and then coming back. And now I'm going to let it cook for at least 10 minutes. I think it's ready. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm going to make more videos and maybe describing Persian food in English for you. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks for watching.